So, welcome back. Um, next episode, it's the next day. I've started cleaning up one of the bars. Other bar is in the vise right here, ready to be cleaned up and then cut and then reforged welded and then welded into a knife. So that's hopefully what I'm gonna get done today. I don't know, I don't have a ton of time today after school and everything. So it might leak into tomorrow a bit, but that's, that's perfectly fine. Um, thanks for coming along, let's get started. I now have it cleaned up off of the angle grinder. It's still, it's not too hot. Now I'm going to cut it into sections of, I think six inches is what I'm gonna do. Six inches, um, two or three six inch sections. Let's see how long it is. Five inch section, I'm gonna do three five inch sections. It's 15 inches long, it's perfect. Oh, I knocked my camera over. Um, so three five inch sec sections. And then I am going to clean it up on my belt grinder and get ready to, to put it in the forge and twist it. Got the three five inch sections cut up. Time to go grind them. So I got them all cleaned up, and now I'm gonna toss them all back in the forge. We have four, five, six, seven pieces that are five inches long each, and then one that's six inches long. And toss it when I'm tossing them in the forge, twist them alternating counterclockwise and clockwise to get hopefully get a herringbone effect. I don't really know how it's gonna turn out, but I'm just hoping for the best at this point. Missed. It smells like fart. Light it. You got magnet stuff on your screen. So I just finished up flattening them all and forge welding the corners back in and now it's ready to clean them up on the angle grinder and then I'm going to test etch them, see how they look and then forge weld them all back together to make a knife. So I'm going to test etch. I, did, I test etched it af after the um, angle grinder but it didn't look that good so I ground up to uh, grit from a belt sander. I think it's like 220 on a worn belt so just give it a little dippy dippy. See what it looks like. Oh that is just Beautiful! I am so happy with how that looks. Man, this is gonna be one amazing knife. I am very pleased with that. Okay, 
Let's now clean up the rest, figure out what pattern I'm gonna do with them, and forge weld them all back together. I just got all the pieces cleaned up. Now I'm gonna go weld them all together, praying that they forge weld well after that. So I'll take you right into that. Got it welded up. It's really hot. Ouch. Be careful when you touch things that were just welded. They're hot, apparently. Hmm. Who knew? So now it's time to throw it in the forge. Give it some taps to close up because there's a couple gaps because the uh, bars aren't all ground perfectly square. And then flux it and forge weld it all together. So let's light the forge. up for a bit to welding temp, flux it, give some taps, and set the welds. So I'm gonna try to forge in the bolster area. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough material to give me thickness, to, thick enough to where I, how I want the bolster to be. Hopefully I get there, but we're just gonna have to see. So after forging or trying to forge in a bolster, I just I don't see it happening right now. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna go with the hidden tang, sadly, on this knife. It's still gonna be a super sick knife. And I'll figure out something special to do for a bolster in there. Maybe I'll take an end cut off of one of the pieces or I'll figure something out, make up some more Damascus for it. But still gonna be a sick knife, not what I wanted, so it's disappointing, but I'm just gonna try to complete it and see how it goes.
scorching the knife. I did not get the integral bolster that I wanted to, but I'm still very happy with how it turned out. Um, it's gonna be a great knife. Right now it's in the forge, warming up to be put into the vermiculite to anneal overnight. Then tomorrow I'll come in, I'll start the grinding process. So thanks for watching, see you on the next episode.